Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In this video, we're talking about Nintendo Switch emulation on PC with Yuzu. Let's get started. All right, to kick things off, month over month, we have seen a bunch of improvements for Yuzu. We have covered a bunch in previous videos, and the team has just released the progress report for March of 2022. I'm gonna go over this at a high level. If you wanna see it in detail, I'll leave a link to it in the description below. I recommend checking it out. The first item on the report is a PSA for Nvidia users. There is a good here and a bad and then a not so bad. So if you're using the Vulkan backend, performance has increased. But it's also introduced some crashing here when you're trying to use a resolution other than the native one for games like Monster Hunter Rise, Rune Factory 5, or Sonic Colors Ultimate. Fortunately though, Epic Boy does have a workaround for it. I wouldn't necessarily say this is completely ideal, but at the same time here, at least it works. Now there's also a PSA for AMD users, so if you update your drivers, it might not necessarily be the best thing to do, kind of like Nvidia. Some things might get better, but some things might get worse. So if you are using drivers of 22.3.2 or later, well, you might have some crashing or some breaking in Animal Crossing New Horizons and other games. If that's the case, revert your drivers to 22.3.1 or earlier, and that should fix the issue. Next up here, we're talking about an emulator within an emulator. Byte has added in support for Wii Haggy, which is an official Nintendo emulator, which is really interesting. Nintendo is completely against emulation, except when they're doing it. Go figure. Anyways, here it adds in support for Super Mario 3D All-Stars, Super Mario Galaxy, and Super Mario Sunshine, with Super Mario 64 support coming in the future. On top of that, Byte also implemented some shader fixes. This is before with Super Mario Sunshine, and this is after. Let me know which one you think is better. And we also see these improvements with Super Mario Galaxy. We've got the after here and well, the before, the after is better. Now, as you probably already know, Kirby and the Forgotten Land has just released and it's already playable on Yuzu with huge thanks to Epic Boy who fixed some geometry issues. The before is on the left and the after is on the right. The after is a heck of a lot better. And interestingly enough, these fixes for Kirby and the Forgotten Land also fixed Monster Hunter Rise. This is the after and well, this is the before. I'm not quite sure the eyes are supposed to be like this, or the hair, or, uh, or having more chest hair than I do. It looks like the hair kind of just got relocated a little bit here. Uh, but anyways, you can see the improvements have resonated to more than just one game. On a side note here, if you've got an NVIDIA GPU and you're noticing that Yuzu is using a ton of your video RAM, well, there is a bit of a fix for it. The Yuzu team has been working hard to address the issue. And if you want to address the issue even further here, there is a Disable Dynamic Resolution mod that is available on their site. I'll leave it in the description below. In fact, I've even got you covered on how to install them. I'll leave a link to this video in the description below as well. Now moving on here, and thanks to Bene, we have seen some improvements in games like Abzu and Dragon Ball Fighters. The previous gameplay is on the left and the new gameplay is on the right. The new gameplay is nice and silky smooth. The next update here really shows how the Yuzu team is listening to the community. They had an update where they tried to make Yuzu use less RAM. As a result, there were some pretty big problems in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. So the Yuzu team just decided to revert the change and make things A-OK. -okay. Now, in addition to all of this, the Yuzu development team has been hard at work at fixing bugs and improving the overall user experience there were a number of bug fixes that went in this month. And for those wondering, yes, the Yuzu team is not even close to being done. They are still working on future projects. They still have a bunch of tricks left up their sleeve, and you should be paying attention to this one in the future. Yuzu is only gonna get better. But anyways, that is all I've got for you in this one. Straight to the point, haul stuff and no fluff. Let me know your thoughts about Yuzu in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts about Switch emulation on PC in general in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Don't tempt fate, save your state.